inside me. And then some of, some of the uh, IT development that these computers are trying to put in place, most of the master card is the lawyer offers the marketing services sections, dynamic key and intelligent targeting to make sure that the market share is bigger and then they're able to fight the, uh, the competition with this attack. Thank you so much and um, this slide will be done by. Uh, hello everyone, uh, uh, I'm Danush here. Mm -hmm. This part of the presentation, I will uh, take you through uh, how uh, digital transformation happened in uh, MasterCard uh, business. I think before moving to uh, uh, digital uh, initiatives, uh, I think it's better to uh, have some idea about how their business model works. Uh, if you see this, uh, if you go to a particular merchant, then uh, the, once you pay, make the payment here, it will capture through the processor and through electric connectors and it will uh, the pass the message to the credit card issuer. Then the credit card issuer will verify that transaction whether and uh, its validates are uh, here and then it pass to the message right up to the uh, merchant's uh, premises. Then uh, in that uh, point of sale uh, software, it uh, make the uh, payment and things like that. So then uh, this, uh, to uh, reimburse that amount, then uh, credit card company will uh, transfer that money to the processing uh, institute here. Then the processing institute will uh, pass it to the, uh, on a daily basis to the merchant bank's bank account. And then credit card issue, uh, company will uh, issue the credit card bills to the customers. That's how it happens. So moving on to the uh, digital transformation initiatives. Uh, Actually, uh, as far as this uh, MasterCard case is concerned, Mr. Banga, uh, CEO of the company, the, the moment he uh, takes up uh, his role, actually he know, uh, realized that there is no uh, innovative culture in place in the organization. So, uh, because uh, his idea was to uh, compete with the uh, cash, not the uh, uh, credit card or debit card or some uh, uh, other sorts of uh, uh, methods. So that's the, as an initiative for that, he introduced this MasterCard lab concept. Uh, so that 80, because the 80% of the world transactions are taking place through cash, uh, cash and checks, so that uh, he wants to compete with the cash. So uh, there are uh, four teams under the uh, MasterCard lab concept, innovative management team, research and development team, uh, lab service team, and the startup engagement teams. So, uh, main goal of all these teams is to create some innovative products to compete with the cash. That's the main idea of that. For example, if you take the innovative management team, uh, you can uh, uh, speak to the employees that uh, uh, your views and your uh, ideas are being heard by the management, so you can come up with whatever the uh, new, new or innovative ideas that you have. And if you uh, take the uh, startup engagement uh, team, uh, they just uh, uh, see, uh, seek it to uh, some uh, best startups in the world and then the, 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 those startups engage with the uh, existing customers of the uh, uh, MasterCards. Then they can uh, move up with their uh, business uh, in a proper way. If you take the lab service team, uh, because uh, some uh, external customers, uh, external business partners might have a world class uh, business idea or business solution, but they don't know the technical know-how how to uh, put that into practice or put that into uh, real business world. So then MasterCard, this team, can uh, uh, engage with those teams and then create a uh, uh, combined solution uh, for the market. Research and development team, what they do is, uh, they are accelerating the testing process and then uh, it, uh, make it a testable prototype uh, because the some uh, company R and D uh, takes a lot of uh, months, years to uh, make it happen. But uh, here, uh, Mr. Baka wanted them to come up with that idea uh, within a uh, short period of time. So moving into the uh, second uh, initiative, this is a blockchain. Uh, actually, uh, the blockchain uh, used by the uh, Mastercard to streamline the supply chain uh, process. So this happens uh, 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 with. Uh, three uh, phases. This is a uh, physical uh, digitization phase, a uh, blockchain phase, and the visibility phase. Uh, here, the each and every points here in terms of the uh, physical digitization process, the each point is captured through the sensors and the API system uh, to uh, 
ascertain whatever the transactions that is taking place in each and every area because the end-to-end -end connection is there. So uh, these uh, uh, information they capture through the APIs, application programming uh, interfaces, and then it will uh, turn into the blockchain uh, to, for the uh, validation uh, for the data validation purpose. Then uh, apart from that, visibility part also uh, going, to, going to take place in the cloud-based uh, technological system. Uh, for example, I have taken uh, some example because the uh, Mastercard uh, has engaged with, uh, partnered with one of the supply uh, digitization company in Australia, so that uh, the uh, the avocado, whatever the avocado so, uh, producer uh, uh, product produce their avocado in, the, in their cultivation, and so the end customers will ascertain that uh, uh, how long will it take to uh, reach out uh, the avocado produ production to uh, his territory. Right away, so that uh, the all the uh, the stages of the process is streamlined, so that uh, the uh, the uh, what you call the uh, uh, better transparency can be achieved through this blockchain strategy. So moving on to the next strategy, uh, this is the adaptive ecosystem strategy. So uh, here uh, the main idea is uh, Mastercard is is going to. Uh, partner with un uncommon uh, partners in the world. Uncommon partners means uh, the MasterCard is into uh, uh, digital business. But if you take this uh, General Motors, it's an automobile company. Their business model is given from the MasterCard model. And this uh, this example, I'm going to talk about this General Motors and IBM just partnered with MasterCard and then came up with this concept on Star Go. For example, uh, because of your business schedules, uh, you, you won't be able to uh, take your dinner and uh, leave in. So then what happens, uh, sometimes it might be a problem. So then uh, you can just uh, uh, do that transaction through this uh, application in your car. And this, because this, this uh, connected car has a self-driving function, so the car will take care of the transaction and uh, get delivered to what you want. Uh, whatever this restaurant that you want to uh, take your dinner, so then uh, the, this car will uh, uh, get it delivered to your doorstep. So that's how it happens. Uh, so with that, uh, I'll hand, out, hand it over to the continuing presentation, uh, the uh, bridge. And in this slide, and I can talk about their discovery the digital transformation opportunity from the city side. As we know, number of their people live in the city will rise over the future decades, and urban transportation is one of the basic service uh, industrial that will be survivor, uh, survivably impacted by the rising in urban population. And because um, I, I want to do a service uh, survey in our uh, plus, how many the people do have their vehicle, self vehicle? Please hands up. Yes, not too many. So maybe in the future years, their public transportation is gonna be the main opportunity for their uh, digital transformation. And another app, I'm gonna talk about the outcome. The passenger can benefit from the convenience and their efficiency gain when using Mastercard and public transformation network. For example, if you are going to travel to another city and if you have the Compass card, maybe you can use it in the uh, PC province. Maybe you also go to the Alberta or another province, Compass card maybe not, not work. But if you have the Mastercard, you can copy it anywhere. And another one is transportation before it can analyze the passenger's data. For example, they can analyze how many their child, how many the juniors, and how many their the student they're taking the public transportation every day. And the risk, as we know, their equipment and the system maintenance do quite continue their investment and also when it in the damage, it can be spent a uh, very high cost in their uh, fixing, in their high, uh, to get their maintenance or maybe they consider about the higher uh, companies to come here to fix the problem. And another big problem is their uh, potential security risk. I think that is the main issue happened in their uh, digital transformation and every in the industry. There is a main problem they need to consider. Next slide. Yes, and uh, the initiative five is we're going to talk about their discovery, their digital transformation opportunity from the fund. And the Mastercard group has developed a technology for the Mastercard 
the sticker, which can be widely used in pharmaceutical industry. Most are partnered uh, with gene leader science to uh, combine digital ID. The outcomes is improve their supply chain visibility, and there another one is enhance the regulated uh, regulator that com com compliance, and the third one is increase the efficiency. As we know, the digital transformation that make the outcomes is make your work more essential and more efficient. And uh, the risk is there are totally straight is the risk of their system value and the adoption of the challenges and also their data privacy. Uh, concern. And here is me and with my curly to make the, the table for the totally their digital transformation, the initiatives. There's totally, I think there's five here in the outcome and the risk is easily to for you guys to look at their table. Yes. Next please. And the main issue for their must card their uh, the digital, in the digital transformation area is the first one is cyber security and the second one is we need to consider about the regulator, uh, reg regulator challenger and third one is disruptive the technology and fourth one is, uh, fourth one is decreasing the competition and last one is the customer the trust. I think the customer trust is most important and also the first one the uh, cyber security. Now, three more minutes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, my partner is Fishbone Logical Analysis. So, my partner is the leading uh, payment provider industry. Sorry, I'm just nervous. <laughs> okay. So, for this, uh, they have a big head of cyber attacks. So, they need to be updated their technology and compile with other uh, high tech industries to connect with their customer. And, um, uh, they face a high uh, competition in the market with the uh, PayWell, PayApple, American Express. Uh, so they need to be update themselves according to the customer requirement and needs. And the other one is the financial users. They have uh, they have to update uh, themselves to be the accurate financial users. If they did not update themselves, they need to face high financial losses not only the company but for the its customer as well. Hi everyone, my name is Eduardo. Uh, I, I would like to say something that I'm not sure my uh, classmates are very the same. With MasterCard pass over 90 financial products, they offer over 90. And one of the like sectors that they offer is um, Credit cards, they have around. Uh, we have, a, I, I give a comparison here to do the decision uh, matrix. Uh, so I research facts on our credit cards in Canada. I can tell that MasterCard, Visa, and American Express, they, they offer here in Canada around 15 or between around 20 used credit cards. And I do the research, the world, worldwide acceptance, you see that all three uh, like companies have a huge acceptance, you can use them yeah, like globally. They have a welcome bonus. This welcome bonus, it depends much uh, on the credit, credit rating that you have here in Canada. The lower credit rating, let's say for students, we get, uh, since we are new here to Canada, we don't have like a history, then we get a lower welcome bonus, $100, $200, $200. And for, uh, other people that have been staying here to get a higher welcome bonus. We have a cashback uh, comparison up to 4% in MasterCard and Visa and American Express up to $2,600. We have the interest rates are pretty similar on each ones. Customer service in Canada, MasterCard does not provide customer service directly. They ask you to contact your bank first. And Visa and American Express have uh, 24-7 customer service. They have here, uh, Canada has the, the anti-fraud, uh, like the farm from the government. And if you get like fraud, you need to report it uh, to your bank and uh, they have the commitment to return your money if you, got, uh, you were victim of fraud. 
and they have fees uh, for, for paying for the green card fees. Uh, these are like just an idea of what is the maximum amount they can charge. So this translating uh, that matrix the numbers. We have that Mastercard and Visa are the most competitive. Uh, they offer the most competitive credit cards in Canada. And American Express is, uh, we can say, is slowly behind because uh, of the cashback. We can say so. Uh, the worldwide acceptance a little bit, but anyway, they are good option. So I made uh, the decision by uh, matrix based on the current situation in Canada on credit cards. Uh, we have an idea that Mastercard is very competitive with Visa. And uh, if you want to look for a card, since they are offered very similar benefits. You will be able to choose the credit card based on convenience <coughs> and partnerships. Partnerships, if you go to the supermarket, you get uh, uh, more points to go shopping in uh, your favorite place, then whether you choose MasterCard or Visa. And finally, because of our time, just want to quickly run through the recommendations and from all the problems, some solutions, MasterCard competitions, and uh, some of the uh, likely problems that they have to swap in the market, they could, we are able to come down to some recommendations. Keep constantly evaluating which reality scheme is better for MasterCard and its customers to benchmark the previous ones and then become better. And then it can also continuous investment in states of the art security measures and then customer trust initiative. Because customers need to trust in any kind of card, it's a financial card, they need to trust in them. And then it can grow to maintaining client trust while surviving, safeguarding customers' data versus the cyber security threats, which the government also looking into. And then based on the fishbone analysis solution to the many problems of leadership, continuous innovation, product development, and management strategies that comply with the four functions of management. You can see that the management actually made, the change in management actually made a rise in the financial, in the income, and all that. And finally, based on the additional magic of credit cards in Canada, Visa card and MasterCard offer similar benefits to customers. Both have major presence and partnership with banks, financial institutions, restaurants, hotels, and airports. It encourages to continue to develop global business with partnerships. So, in conclusion, we can just say that MasterCard is one of the biggest and really and uh, powerful, uh, substantial financial system that we will look into. And then, hopefully, in the next five years, we can actually be uh, in the region. Okay, good. Thank you very much. This is right. Very good. Where is the case study? Uh, because we're running out of time, I uh, have uh, ask you one question only from you. Uh, any question for team six, right? Okay. Everyone have a question, yeah? Okay, good. Go ahead. I just want to like, know, like uh, they, they talk about MasterCard. Yeah. Uh, MasterCard networks. So they can come with the more competitors they have right now. You talk about only two, but they are like Discover, which is taking care of the, uh, like the American market. They are coming with their new cards around new networking. And if you talk about the Asian market, there, are, there is new competitor called Rupay, yeah. which is more competitive right now. They, they have their market in India, uh, all oh, sure. Arabic countries like uh, Dubai, uh, all those areas. Even in the Singapore and Asian countries more. So they are they are coming with a new because they are very cheaper compared to MasterCards, if you see. So maybe you can use this in your competitive analysis. Yes, actually we put in our project and but in the presentation we cannot shoot too much. I know if maybe in the in the I know in the Asian market like as you said, and I usually we use that uh, we write it in our project like the WeChat Pay and the uh, Alipay like that. So yes, I know that, but we cannot put in the presentation too much. Thank you. And that's why we have we have orders. Yes. Okay. So on the information is in Chinese. When you look for Union Pay, it, uh, the first thing appears is Chinese. Okay, that's getting very good points, okay? So, let me do a survey. How many of you have a credit card? Almost everybody, yeah? <laughs> In the advanced countries, yeah? yeah. And uh, how many of you have a MasterCard? MasterCard in your wallet? One, two, three, four, 
you know, financial industry, a lot of change, a lot of digital transformation going on. Right? Just imagine, I've not been with my bank for three years. Why does bank spend money on the expensive uh, the, the branch rent and also the cash? All this of where does the you know the bank right? Where's money? Yeah. And all this one is your, your opportunity, right? And if you just need a card, technology, yeah, do some transaction. Right? Then you can do the bank things. Don't have to be the branch, right? And doing uh, you will have money, you save my place, you get more interest, right? Which is a uh, high pay, what they do, right? They pay high interest rate uh, for you and any money, right? And uh, you can lend you money. Lend you money, you can invest different uh, area, you get more return, right? So, that's, so this is the bank in the, in the, in the in most in country, right? And uh, use the digital currency, okay? So, same on that, maybe I re, you know, improve your uh, uh, solution rather than gender, right? And your solution, just put in Canada. Canada is a small market, yeah? At least you should face to USA. <laughs> you know, USA, how many population in US? Over 300 million. Yeah. Yeah. How many population in Canada? Over 20. Yeah, 10 times. Yeah. How many population in India? <laughs> <laughs> right? You face to that one. Everybody use a credit card, yeah? So you face on that, yeah? And you, you can write okay, yes, you home base Canada, right? We have a most valuable passport, right? You can do business with everyone, yeah? And make money, yeah? Okay? And uh, face to the world. Also, there's a lot of aggressive competition in the advanced economy to get market share. Okay? Yeah. Let's give a hand again for two things. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you guys. Well done, well done. Thank you. Good job, good job. Yeah. Interesting, right? This is finance. Let's see what's going on, right? That's uh, 10 years, a lot of disruption, okay? So let's finish our uh, lecture. Yeah. <coughs> and we're almost done our lecture, so basically, Web 3.0, Metaverse. To tween. Our summary. Team six. So let's talk about your team project, right? Very important to get some experience, right? So you have a three option doing teacher tween, right? Which is not the case. You can stop your case by teacher tween. Supply chain, grocery, you know, maintain, right? And uh, you could do a, a metaverse. Which you accept, that you just be right, yeah? Uh, more challenge. Then you're doing you know, chat GPT application for your business. Yeah, okay, develop some application, interesting application. You friend theory of, of AI revolution, right? Okay, good. So did you tween? There's a lot of example there, right? So you do uh, do uh, research, then do uh, analysis of these tools. And uh, the pro and the con, right? And I recommend 10 of them, but you can search for a new one. And uh, Metaverse, I, uh, any team doing Metaverse, option two, anybody? So if you do Metaverse, you read this uh, paper, and uh, this is uh, probably the masterpiece in the Metaverse, explain everything. Then you think about application of Metaverse in each of these uh, uh, areas, like uh, shopping, like uh, education, like uh, medical care, right? Many of the applications. Then you do analysis. Then you develop uh, some of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the beautiful island or the meeting place, 